We all love a terrace. Um, it's kind of just a staple of legacy iOS side loading at this point. Normally, I love a terrace only supports iOS 5 to 6 officially, but it technically works up until 8. But what about the, the devices that are running in iOS below that? Well, there is an alternative called the iPhone OS Obscura uh, project, basically. Um, I've used this for ordinary siloing with iPhone box with their IPA and their archive.org or whatever. But they do have this site called iPhone OS Obscura .lit and .ca, which is kind of just kind of like the terrace, but it's a website and, this, and it uh, pretty much works exactly the same, Like, you need, but you need app sync and everything. You need to be jailbroken. So today I'll be demonstrating how this works on an iOS 4.3.3 .3 iPad second gen. So um, let's not waste any time and let's get straight into this and I'll show you how I install apps. The way that this even works is through app sync. I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but I'll add it in now. Um, you need app sync for this to work. And for like, I know for iOS 3, you can get it off the uh, iOS 3 party repo. And for iOS 4, you can get it off ponage.dev specifically. So that is how you would get app sync. And that's how this would work. So as you can see, here is the iPhone OAP obscure iphone os obscure locator and um that's what it's called it's kind of a long name but i just tested this on iphone os 3.2.2 and an ipad 1 so i can confirm that this does work for ios 3. what i can't completely confirm but i suspect works is ios 2. um i think it works as long as you have app sync i'm not really sure how iphone os 2 works to be completely honest i don't have a 3g that runs it so i can't really confirm how if it works or works or not but I suspect it does, uh, mainly because um, on their archive.org page, which all these apps are sourced from, um, iPhone OS 2 is featured on there. So I just assume it works. If it doesn't work, then, oh well, I'll probably edit the <laughs> title. So say we want GarageBand. So you would just normally, you just click on it. You'd find your version, just like anything like Viteris or whatever. So you hit, uh, let's do 1.0.1 or 1.0.1 or whatever. So you see it requires iPhone OS 4.2 or iOS 4.2. So technically these direct installs things, um, I wouldn't really recommend because they do not work or direct to download, especially on below iOS 5. So I would just do the proxied install because most of the time it will work like this. See, proxy server.litten.ca would like to install GarageBand. Just hit install and you see it pops up. Um, I don't really want this one specifically, so I'm just going to cancel it. So, uh, yeah, but that is pretty much how it works. I've sideloaded a ton of apps recently with this. Um, like, I found out recently that Subway Surfer actually does work on iOS 4 and uh, just through this little project here. And uh, let's because um this is kind of a quick video um let's go through a lot of these apps that you probably didn't know are supported for ios 4 like because technically how this works it works just like terrace where um it'll adapt for your ios version that you are running so you'll go like server stats so ios device yes ios version 4.3.3 and you have like your app count your version count your url count searchable app count, ver searchable version count. So it just adapts for whatever version you have, just like Viteris. And that's why it's kind of basically the same thing. I don't, I'm not completely sure to which one came out first, to be completely honest. I do think Viteris came out before the Obscure Locator, but I'm not completely sure. So that's why I'm kind of calling it this, but uh, yeah. But I'm just referring to iOS 3 and 4. This technically does work on like, a ton a ton of of other legacy ios versions i'm just referring it for these ones um i might work on ios 9 i'm not completely sure i haven't tested it so i can't confirm that but i do know it works for below ios 5 and that's why i'm kind of calling it an alternative you can technically use this on ios 5 and 6 first because i know on the terrace some of these apps are not on here for some reason so if you do want to use this on iOS 5 and 6, which I've tried and it works perfectly fine. You can go give that a go. Um, I'm just saying just for this one specifically, it's a good alternative for just for using iFunbox and you can just download it from the web. So uh, yeah. I'm sorry this video is kind of short and I'm gonna have to cut it short here because I did not have much time to put this video together. 
but I've been sitting on this one for a bit and I haven't made a video on how to do this specifically and I wanted to do that. So uh, yeah, right after this video comes out, I'll make sure to have some sort of poll so you can choose which video you want next. Um, so uh, yeah, and because I have a ton of ideas for the, the next uh, months actually. And uh, I'll just start doing polls like I used to because I haven't done them in a bit. And uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you're notified when I come out with brand new videos. And uh, also make sure to share this to someone that might find this helpful or and or interesting. This has been here for Certified Legacy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.